British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak apologizes for LGBT military discrimination. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has issued a formal apology in the House of Commons for the past ban and discrimination against LGBT service members within the British military. This apology was prompted by a report conducted by Lord Edderton, a former Master of the Rules which examined the experiences of LGBT British service members who served between 1967 and 2000 during the ban. Lord Edderton's report recommended that the Prime Minister apologise on behalf of the nation to all those LGBT service personnel who served under and suffered from the ban, whether or not they were dismissed or discharged. The report also suggested providing financial compensation of up to $64 million to those affected by the ban. In his address, Prime Minister Sanek referred to the ban as a stain on the illustrious history of the UK as armed forces and emphasised that it was a failure of the British state, significantly behind the country's legal progress. He acknowledged the clear evidence of discrimination, sexual abuse, violence, and homophobic bullying endured by many LGBT service members while bravely serving the country. Sanek officially apologised on behalf of the British state and expressed his hope that all those affected could find pride in being part of the veterans community, which has played a significant role in safeguarding the nation. British Defence Secretary Ben Wallace also expressed deep remorse on behalf of the government and the armed forces for the distressing experiences highlighted in Edderton's report. He acknowledged that the treatment received by LGBT personnel during that time was entirely unacceptable and fell short of what they deserved. Labour Party leader Keith Stammer commended the Conservative government's action and acknowledged the efforts of his Labour predecessors in reversing the ban. He specifically mentioned Ken Wright, a former Royal Air Force member who was present for Sunak's apology and had been compelled to leave the job he loved simply because he was gay.